to list all uh, objects in uh, a collection or all file names in uh, the uh, files collection. Uh, the thing that uh, uh, should be done is basically since uh, every object has an index and uh, the collection maintains this uh, consecutive uh, uh, order of objects uh, what is really needed is to um, have uh, to get the uh, objects uh, in uh, uh, um, a consecutive increasing index uh, starting from zero going to the size of the collection uh, so the header of uh, list all files uh, will have as return type void uh, in the same way as uh, list file is of type void and oh no is it of type void because it prints so the music organizer Yes, since the list file is void, I think also the list all file is void uh, because uh, it doesn't have to return anything, it just prints the file names. And the parameter, uh, there would not be any parameter because uh, all the indexes um, are uh, from zero to uh, the size of uh, files uh, will be used. So uh, it is not possible to uh, just use a set amount of uh, print statements uh, to uh, print to list all the files. Uh, because uh, the uh, size of the uh, files collection uh, can change uh, because things can be added and removed so uh, it's not a fixed size but it's a dynamic size uh, the one uh, which with which the music organizer is dealing with uh, so there needs to be a way to um, to um, um, add print statements depending on the circumstance which is uh, the size of the uh, files collection and uh, this is possible uh, with uh, um, loop statements which are also called uh, iterative control structures and a particular kind of for loop that is um, used for collection for collections and avoids completely the need for an index variable 
uh, is called um, a for each loop. It's the for each loop. 